Hi everyone, I'm Juan, executive producer on Dark Tide. What you just saw is a sneak peek of the exciting new content coming to Dark Tide, which we released during Skulls. Before we talk about that, let's have a look at what we've done over the past six months. Since launch, we have worked hard to improve the game. We have delivered two content drops and nine patches alongside many hotfixes. Some highlights include Content Drop, The Signal, where we release a new mission and two new weapons. Patch 4, Blessings of the Omnissiah, in which we improve the shrine and its modification systems. Content Drop, Tools of War, which feature an armory upgrade with 10 additional weapon marks and new conditions. Patch number 9, Guards and Penances, where we revamped the penances and added new cosmetic rewards. Your support over the past six months has been key in delivering these updates, and we will keep delivering more content at a steady rate. Now let's have a look at Content Drop, Rejects Unite, which will release during Skulls. Two new missions will be added to the game. The first one, Archive on Sycorax. We see your team dispatched to wipe out sensitive data from the archives. A session Riser 31 will be part of our first community event. Players will have to unite to go through three challenges, each granting rewards. The final reward will be Ascension Riser 31. An old friend will also be added to the game, the Chaos Pack. Alongside this additional content, we will have more quality of life improvements and bug fixes added into the game with patch number 10. A new shop dedicated to Ernoble Cosmetics will open on the Morningstar, featuring additional items to collect. You can now see all Ernoble Cosmetics in your inventory, including those left to unlock. Thank you for playing Dark Tide. Until next time.